Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add navigation component to your Jetpack Compose app. Well, in my previous video I've talked about how you can get started with the navigation component. Well, it was very straightforward, but in this video we'll see how we can pass arguments to them. Because in production application, navigation may not be that straightforward that you're moving from one composable to another one. It could be a bit complex where you also need to pass arguments. So in this video, we'll see that. So again, first switch to Gradle and add the dependency for the navigation compose. So let's switch back to main activity. And here I have a composable called home screen. This is the place where I also have the nav controller. Nav controller is something which is responsible for maintaining the state which means that you can navigate forward and then while moving backward, it maintains the back step for you. Nav host. So nav host is something which is responsible for maintaining the list of all the composables where you can navigate to by specifying the route. Also, you have to specify the nav controller and the start destination. Start destination is something which is as you launch your application, which composable should get drawn on the screen. That's something which you specify at the start destination. So here it's a bit different than my previous video where I was just having red color. So here I have red slash current count slash color name and slash question mark any alert alert. What are all of them? So these are nothing but the arguments. It's not like the traditional way of passing bundle, then put string, put in. Here it's completely different. So here you just have one string, and in that string you specify the path first, then slash the arguments which you want to pass. One strange thing you, which you might be seeing here is that question mark and name. And this is something which is missing for these two. That is because this is optional argument and this are something which are mandatory arguments so let's see how we can feed the value for them but before that again we have a composable and this route is exactly the same as whatever we have specified here we have red slash argument as current count current name and optional argument as any alert with alert so one thing to remember here is that when you pass arguments, they are always considered as string by default. And if you want to change that, if you are passing an argument which is string, boolean or something else but apart from string, then you have to explicitly specify the type of it by providing the arguments and then the list of them. So here, you specify the arguments, then list of nav argument specify the name of the argument here it's current count and the type of it which is nav type int type also if you are using optional argument then this is something which you have to specify because for optional arguments you have to specify the default value but if you are not having any optional argument and you want to have both of them as string then you can completely avoid writing this part. So you'll just have composable and this route, nothing more than that. Inside this composable, we have our composable which we want to draw on the screen. So this is good to pass the argument. We have the name of the argument, but how do we are going to get the value out of it? So that is something that we'll get from this Lambda. It provides us the nav backstack entry. Through this, we can get the arguments. This is one composable screen read. Here, I want to pass the nav controller and three arguments. So how do I can do that? Using this nav backstack entry, which is nothing but it here. So it dot arguments dot get int boolean whatever type which you have specified you can see here it's get int that's because we have specified it that current count is of type int 
So we are giving like it arguments get int then name of it where we are also specifying the default value as zero. The color name because this is of type string and that's one of the reasons that you're seeing that it's not being specified here as the default type is string itself. So we can directly fetch the value of color name by calling it arguments get string. Finally, if you also want to have the alert type, then you can specify the arguments for the alert also. So that was one composable. And here is another one. So this is another composable where we have route as green and current count color name as the arguments. Here we do not have any optional argument. So it's not like mandatory thing where you have to provide the same number of arguments to all of them. It's purely depending on the composable which you want to navigate to. It can either have no arguments or have arguments or it can have arguments with uh, default arguments. So here again because current count is of type in so you have to specify it with the arguments list of nav argument current count type nav type as int type. One thing to remember here is that even if you have just one you have to specify them with the list of. So again the same thing continues here we have nav controller which we are passing and then if you want to get from the arguments it's like it dot argument dot get int. So that's it straightforward. And the rest of the thing is same similar thing for the blue also. Now let's see our composable screen red. So here as I said that we are getting controller, counter, color name and alert. This are something which is coming as an arguments. So when do we are passing this? Earlier here we have seen that we are fetching the value. Here we have specified the name of arguments with the route and this is the place where we are fetching the value. But how do we are setting the value to the arguments? For that, let's navigate to screen red composable. So inside this composable, while navigating to the particular route, that's the place where you have to specify the arguments. Here with the nav controller, we are calling navigate to method, which requires the route. So nav controller navigate to specify the route. Along with this route, you have to specify the arguments also. And this is the place where you specify the arguments. So if you see for the green composable, here we have green, it requires two arguments, current count and color name. So with green, we are specifying two arguments, counter and then color name. Again, with green, we are doing exact same thing, nav controller, navigate to blue and specifying the arguments. So the first one is route and the next thing which is coming after slash is nothing but the arguments. So you can specify one argument or more than one just by separating them with slash. So for green and blue it's quite straightforward because we don't have any optional arguments. So here if you could see the composable for green and blue they just take arguments but red composable takes optional arguments. So how do we pass this? So let's see that. So from screen blue we are navigating to red. So the concept is again similar. Nav controller navigate to red is the route and all these values from here onward are the arguments where we specified the counter, color name and then the optional argument by specifying the name of it equals to value. So that's it. It's that much simple to navigate with arguments when you use navigation component in Jetpack Compose. So let's see this in action. So here I have this app. So initially when I launch this, it just come to this place. The start destination is nothing but the red with current count, color name and 
any alert which is nothing but the optional argument the default value for them is no alert for color it's not found and current count is zero now when i tab on this here you could see that screen color and number is five it's all because here if you could see then i've specified this from screen red while navigating to green composable increase the counter value by five so earlier it was zero zero plus five and that's what you could see here five and the color name is green now from this green composable when it navigate to blue again increase the counter value by five so increase the value by five so it will be 10 and the name will be blue and here you could see that when it comes to red again increase by five so it will be 15 color as red and any alert this time instead of no alert you'll see yes and here it is so same way when i tap it again goes through the same cycle now if i want to come back so i just click the device back button and you'll see that it has maintained the back stack with a value decreasing by five and if you have liked this video then do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel so as to get the videos on the latest topics of android kotlin and firebase thank you and stay tuned